Hello and thank you for joining me. I'm Heather Forgan of stampwithnelly.com. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in the UK. Today I'm taking part in the December Project Share blog hop with my good friends Jez, Jill and Verity. Every, every Thursday we share each other's projects but once a month on the first Saturday of the month we also create a brand new project and blog hop together to show you our new projects. This month our theme is fancy fold or fun fold cards and I've made a prototype of this tuxedo fold card so it does sit up um, also folds flat and the size of it means that it will fold, uh, it will go into a standard C6 envelope. Um, I'm used for this particular prototype, I've used brand new products that will be available in January. But as demonstrators, we are able to purchase some of them in advance. And I purchased these ones um, in advance of our on stage event. So I've used the new punch that will be available um, at two different size of dragonflies and coincidentally it cuts out the largest and the second largest um, butterflies from the Dandy Garden 6x6 designer series paper. There's loads of lovely designs in that paper and um, Neither, nearer to the, the launch, I will show you much more of that. Um, so yeah, I cut, I used the punch to cut the big ones and the middle ones, and there's also some tiny little ones there that I actually just fussy cut because they're nice and small and easy to do. So you can get loads out of just one sheet from that. So. Um, my sentiment, you are an inspiration, comes from the Coordinating Dragonfly Garden stamp set and I've also used these little butterflies stamps on there as well. I don't know if you can see that properly. Those ones there. Um, I did that in Bumblebee and um, the butterflies are Calypso Coral. So I just wanted to give you a sneak peek at um, these new products but I will be making an alternative version of this style of card so that you can make your own one exactly the same. Okay so I'm starting with a piece of Whisper White Thick card that measures 21 um, centimetres by 14 and a half centimetres so it's just short of half a sheet of A4 card. Bringing in my trimmer, take the cutting blade out of the way because I just want to score this at five centimetres, at ten centimetres, at fifteen centimetres, and at twenty centimetres. So that leaves us a one centimetre tab at the end there. Put that to the side. And I'm going to use my ruler for the next bit. I'm going to make a pencil mark at five centimetres from the bottom and five centimetres from the top. So because our card is 14 and a half centimetres it means that the, the centre section is um, slightly smaller at four and a half centimetres. So I'm going to do the same along um, the skinny score line and again do that at five centimetres from the bottom and five centimetres from the top. Okay, now before I do anything else, I am going to burnish these score lines. 
and I'm just making sure that I've got my edges meeting. So not don't want to do it like that. I want to make sure that those meet up perfectly so that everything will be nice and straight, hopefully. little tab at the end. Okay, so I'm going to keep my tab at that side. I'm also going to make a little mark at the centre there just so that you can see that um, better. And what I'm going to do is score from there to there now. I'm going to do it with my trimmer and I'm going to make sure that I've got that little mark in the centre of the um, blade guide and that little mark in the centre as well and just bring that through and I'm going to do the same from the centre one to this one here on the second score line. So a little bit more difficult to get that in the middle. When you put your guide down, you can see it a little bit better. Bring that down and you can come right to the edge with that as well. Okay. So I'm going to burnish that. will not come straight to there, that's fine, that's, um, it's not going to do that because we haven't got equal sections in there. Okay. So. Now, I want to take part of that away and I want to take that bit away. So what I'm going to do first of all is to cut down this score line here. Same with this one here. Down to where those score lines meet, the diagonal one and the vertical one. And I actually want to take this one away. Now again, you could do that with your trimmer if you prefer to do that. Just by tucking that bit away might help you as well. There we go. That should be actually that is four point eight. So if I do four point eight to here, I basically want to make sure that I've got a straight cut from there to there. there rather than the five centimeters so I think I probably want that to be 4.8 centimeters on that one let's get that across I'll do that again on here I'll do 4.8 rather than the five I have a T 
T-square ruler that I can make sure that I've got that straight over there. So if I cut there, it might help if I had that bit straight. <laughs> and then from there, right over. So that's where I want to cut. Um, again, I could do it on my trimmer. I'm just going to use my big scissors to do that. Right in there. And again. Right into that section there. A tiny little bit. Quite happy with that. I do, however, need to take this section off as well. And that gives us the bones of our card. I'm just going to take these. Pencil marks off first of all. Okay. I'll trim it out of the way for now. That's that one. All right. So this. Should be roughly the same. Yep. That's close enough. Close enough. So this bit will fold down the way along with that one, and that gives us the kind of collar on our tuxedo. And we'll glue that bit like that. However, I do need to do a little bit more work before we get to that stage. I want to add my designer series paper to the inside. And on my original one, I didn't take the designer series paper all the way down. I stopped, I don't know if you can see that, like that. Um, so I stopped just before those brackets there. Um, but on this one, I'm going to attempt to do it differently, so bear with me. <laughs> um, and actually have the designer series paper going all the way down. So I've, this piece measures 14 by 4.5 centimetres. And... just want to have a tiny margin all the way round so if I cut down to there that should give me the right angle so if I cut again you could use your trimmer I'm just trying to speed things up rather than bringing my trimmer in and out all the time okay so the most important bit is that we've got a nice edge along the top there. If it goes slightly off at the bottom, not such a problem. So again, leaving that where I want it, I would want that to come down to about there. And I can chop that off. Happy with that, I am going to glue those in. So now it's a case that we want to put in the struts to go across the middle. And I've got two pieces of Whisper White card that are 7cm by 1.5cm wide 
and I've scored at one centimetre from each end. I want one to go that way and one to go that way. Okay. So if I glue that there, that will mean that that bit comes over like that. And we're not getting in the way of any... Yeah. So, add some glue to one side. And I'm just wanting to make sure that I've got that relatively parallel with the bottom of the card and make sure that I'm below that line there. Okay. Do the same with the other one. And just leave a little gap between them. Now I've managed to get glue all over my grid mat there. So I'm just going to quickly flip that over so I don't get any of that onto my card base especially with it being whisper white, um, that could be a bit messy. Okay, so, as I say, these bits are going to glue in over here. And I've found the easiest way to do it is to add glue to that and those at the same time. Move them out of the way a little bit. Bring that over. And hold that in place. And then make sure they're roughly where they should be and when I fold my card I'm going to be mailing my card folded this way so they are sitting where I would want them to be So now we can go ahead and decorate the front of the card and I have got two pieces that are, oh, actually that's gone a bit awry, <laughs> just put that down again, maybe when I moved it the other way around, no, that's fine, that's going to fall flat. Now I've got glue all over that again, <laughs> but most of that's going to get covered up. Let me just take that off. Okay. So. Two pieces that are four and a half. I should have two pieces that were four and a half by four centimetres. One of them's not right. Let me just fix that. So that's four and a half by four. That one's fine. That is four and a half by four and a half. So let me just trim that down to how it should be. Okay, so I've got the long side and I want to make sure that I've got those two corners there and I cut that down. Now that 
one is going to fit nice and neatly in there but that one doesn't fit quite so neatly in there but it does if it's flipped over see that so that's why i had two pieces okay now i did that on that diagonal so now i need to do this one on the opposite diagonal so that i have a piece that will fit on there and a piece that will fit on there and the two other bits that i've cut i can use for another card should i wish to do that Okay, so I'm going to glue those in there like that just now. Okay, so We've got our panels on the inside and our struts on the inside and our little collars there. So I need to add some designer series paper to the front here as well. And I've got two pieces that are 9.2 centimetres by four and a half centimetres that will sit on there like that. Okay, so I'm going to glue those in place, but what I am going to do, and I've already kind of done it on this one, is kind of crease it along there so that it will fold with the other piece there. And I can make sure that it doesn't um, have a gap or um, come over the other, come over the side. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit extra glue along there. Just give that another burnish. Okay. Perfect. And thankfully that covers up my glue marks from earlier. So we've now done the outside decoration there and I've just remembered I've forgotten a step. Oh dearie me, never mind, we'll improvise, we'll do it differently. What I did mean to do was to add a couple of strips underneath the designer series paper there so that the back piece was hidden and then I could attach the sentiment to the front there but we'll, we'll just do it a little bit differently. Talking off the sentiment I am using the Daisy Lane stamp set and I've used the medium daisy and the daisy punch. I've cut Three of each of those from Whisper White and I've also used the small bloom punch um, with another piece of the designer series paper from the same pack which I can't remember if I actually told you what it was. It is the Flowers for Every Season designer series paper pack that I've used for this. So um, the design that's there is 
bumblebee, which is the same as the centre of those daisies there, which is why I decided to, to use the daisy lane stamp set and the daisy punches. So I've just stamped that with bumblebee. And I'm using the story label punch to cut that out. Now, as I say, what I should have done was put that underneath the designer series paper, but I've forgotten. Now, these are just little scraps of card that. I'm sure most of us have got in our stash from trimming off for other things. So I'm lining one of them up to the score line there. Whilst it's folded in half, like that. I'll do the same, roughly the same length. That. And this is just really creating a little hinge for our sentiment that will sit on top there like that. So I'm going to add some glue there and add my sentiment label straight on top like that. And while I'm waiting for that glue to dry, I'm going to assemble my daisies. As I say, I've got three of the large ones and three of the smaller ones. I'm not going to add too much dimension to these because the I don't really want to have too much bulk on the card. So I'll just layer them up like that. And add this little flower, a small bloom, to the centre. And I'm going to add a frosted and clear epoxy droplets. I never remember what these are called. And I'm going to go with the clear ones. And for the smaller one, I'll use the smaller size. So that's that put together. Same again, just layer them up slightly off There they are. Those three add my small bloom in the center I've got a little bit of extra glue coming out there honestly I've got so much glue everywhere today <laughs> and I'm going to use one of the larger I managed to just take that off the I did I managed to leave the glue behind trying to do it quickly Okay, so those are our two flowers ready to put on the inside and I've got a couple of pieces of window sheet, no particular size, just scraps that I had left over from other projects. I'm going to add a flower to one of them. And the other flower to the other. So we have used a thicker piece for the larger flower to give it a little bit extra support. Okay, and I want 
that one to go there. So I'm just putting some glue on the window sheet down the bottom and attach that to that strut here. And again, it'll take a little bit of time to dry. And we'll add that one quite low down onto the second strut. And what I might do is add some extra little blooms. In white onto here as well from some of the little scraps that we cut off. one down there as well. Why not? I like things in threes or odd numbers at least. Down there and I can add some more of the, I'll use the frosted ones this time. did go ping right the way across my desk. <laughs> That's better. Much easier. Here we are. She spoke too soon. It's because I've got so much glue on my fingers. There we go. So there we have the final version of the Daisy Lane one, which looks like that, and my Dragonfly one that looks like that. And as you can see with that one, I covered the piece and I forgot to do that on that one but it doesn't look too bad. Blends in with the rest of the white that I've used. So I hope you've enjoyed this um, card and if you have, please give me a thumbs up. A comment would be appreciated as well. And if you're not already a subscriber, please click on that button and uh, you'll get notified the next time that I upload another video. Until the next time, take care. Bye bye.